Hey y'all, how's everyone doing? I'm going to be making this little noise again because I got on my gold charm bracelet. So y'all know, I think I've told you I've taken an interest in Pandora, which is a, um, it's just a little charm bracelet, um, jewelry line, which is silly because I already have a Brighton, full Brighton charm bracelet and a full gold, like solid gold. These are just, now these are, don't think that, you know, okay, whatever you're thinking. Uh, I've gotten each one of these over time, over the years when me and my husband would travel somewhere. I would pick up a gold charm from wherever we traveled, or it could have been some other, like, kind of life event, like I've got the kids, all the kids, I don't know, y'all may think it's very grandmothery or mothery, but I've got all these little, little head charms, you know, little head, and I've got their names engraved on it, and then I started flipping to the back to put their children's names on all my grandchildren, except for one, and that's Noah, my little boy grandchild, and he... Uh, no, I'm sorry. Marissa got a little pacifier, and Noah got a little boot with a blue sapphire in it. Not a boot, a little baby shoe. There's a little baby shoe. And that's from Switzerland. That's from my wedding. That's from Paris. That's from Paris again. That's from Venice. That's from Italy, Rome, Italy. Um, that, well, that one was from Venice, Italy. That's from Rome, Italy. We did a trip that we saved up for. For like two years, we saved up for a trip, and we went for like three days. And people are like... Are you out of your mind? You only left for five days because you lose one day going, one day coming back. It's like, that's all we can afford and we're going to Europe. So we did it. And then this little single house is a um, signed charm from Charleston from an artist that does single houses. And then there's the Holy Scripture. And inside that used to be a, a accordion, accordioned up in a little piece of paper, all the books of the Bible. <laughs> it's cute. But anyway, but I took it out because I get this wet sometimes. And then this little palm tree represents when me and my husband, I first stayed on Tybee Island. And then he gave me this little teddy bear. And then there's another Charleston. We love Charleston. Uh, that's the little horse and carriage. And it's got little working wheels. And then there's a rose charm from my best friend and a little uh, angel sitting on the moon from my sister. And then that's my senior key to when I graduated from a senior class. Who does that? Who wears that anymore? I do. Well, I don't that much. So I ended up getting this little um, Pandora one, and I've, I've actually been building it a lot faster than any other charm bracelet, just because I saw this one or that one, and the charms weren't that expensive, because they're not gold. <clears throat> they're sterling silver. Um, but And they, these are not like diamonds. These are just little rhinestones in here. So, And these there's some sentimental stuff on there, and it's almost full my husband get, hasn't given me the first one, but I'm going to have to return this one because it's the Disney um, Cinderella Castle or the Neutwinstein Castle is what people think it's after, which is not true. That's not the castle that that was designed after. It's the one in Lucerne, Switzerland, when he was in World War II. But he looked up and he saw that castle. But anyway, <clears throat> not going there. Um, I think it's a cute charm. It's really pretty, but it catches on everything. And this, I realized one of the reasons I don't wear this as much, it makes so much noise. Listen to the difference. Almost nothing. Yeah. Um, why am I talking about charm bracelets? I have no idea. I think it just has to do a collector's mentality. Okay. What was the palette? There it is. Okay, so I'm going to use the MAC palette again. We used this yesterday, but I'm going to use it again today, but I'm going to use a whole different row of colors. I use kind of these neutral, um, kind of cool tone. It's a warm palette, but of the palette, this is probably the coolest. These top, these would be top three right here. So today I'm purposely going to use the bottom three. And I don't know what we'll do with the middle, but right now we're not using it. Oh, my finger just locked up. That was the weirdest thing. Is that arthritis? Hmm. Okay, first of all, we need lips. Lips, 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 lips. Gotta put some lips on, because I can't talk without lips. Well, we know I can, but you know what I'm saying. There we go. Okay, so we're putting some lips on. So much happier. Who knows what this color is and what this brand is? It, can y'all say it with me? I just realized, Marsha, 
I'm so sorry. I just realized I didn't send yours yet. Because she won her... <clears throat> she was one of two that won. The other one was sent. But I didn't expect to have two people get it right off the bat. And it timing-wise, when I looked at the answers, it was the same. It was who could first tell me um, the lipstick, the products that I was wearing in that video. Because they're like Old Faithfuls. I wear them all the time. This is Chanel. Can you say it with me? Chanel um, Lip Intense. And the color is Soft Rose. And it stays on better than any lip product. It does not come off on everything. It lasts, uh, six to eight hours. And I mean, it really does. And it doesn't come off on stuff. Like yesterday, I tried this one. I like this product a lot. It's the Superstay Matte Ink by Maybelline. Came off on all my cups. I don't think it came off my husband, but it came off on my cups. On the edge of my cups. My coffee cup, my dr other drinking cup. And I don't like that. As you can see, you want to get it perfect because once it's on, it's on. And you have to use makeup remover to get it off. I'm evening it out. Okay, then see how that's kind of matte looking? It's not dry. It's not dry as any other product, but it is still matte. No sparkle to it. See, the other end of it <clears throat> is shine. There's three components of this. It makes it shiny lip gloss now. It's nice and shiny. Um, you can make it more shiny if you wish. Um, it moisturizes, so it keeps it from getting dry at all. Not at all. And it also sets it like it's set now. It's set for the day. Amazing. Oh, I lost my blush. What did I do with my blush? Oh, here's my new blush that I told you guys. Oh, Marsha, what I was saying is I did not ship your product because I went to get something for your mom, too. Because she made a point just that that girl sounds sick in the background. And I was. I thought I need to get a little something for her mama. What did I do with that bag of goodies? I'll have to go find it. I think it, I think it's in my back seat because I was going to ship it, but I didn't take it in. I'm so sorry, but I will. All right. That was just one pop-up contest where I was putting stuff on. And I thought by now, y'all who know me should know, or if you didn't, you could go back so easily in um, my videos and find the name of the those products because I use them all the time. And so... I said, okay, in the middle of it, like right now, let's just make this a contest and whoever can tell me, what was it? My liner, my face foundation, my liquid foundation, my lipstick, and what was it? I don't remember the fourth thing. And two people got it right off the bat. And I didn't expect that to be so fast and that two people get at the same time. That was the other thing. And I didn't want to choose between them, so I just got, I sent one that looked like it was more first. And then I, um, I really couldn't tell. But also, I wanted, uh, I know Marsha. It's M-S-H-A, so I assume it's Marsha. Um, I think you've won something before and it was Marsha. Um... And I wanted to also take another day to run up to the store and get a little something for her mama. Because her mama's there. So this is that Laura Geller blush that I'm telling y'all really, really like. But if you like it, I think it'll last a really long time. But you need to go ahead and get it because she's, she's bankrupt. I hate that. I hate that she went bankrupt because it's a good line. It's a good product line. But you know what? If you say that, then you got to go buy something. Sometimes people get upset about Chick-fil-A got rid of their... Uh, coleslaw or something like that and the only reason they'll ever just like any company get rid of something is it's not selling and <clears throat> as much as people said they loved it I'm like well did you order it it's just like um you know I didn't order it that much but I did love it but I just I didn't have cause to order it that often but you know so if you don't order it you can't say nothing 
because you didn't order it. Okay. Yesterday I went and got me another one of these because this one's almost out in my dressing area in my bedroom. And I also have one in here. And I also have one in my purse. This is the, it's to me, this is the best. Besides the uh, Rimmel. Where's my Rimmel? The Rimmel is um, even lighter. But this is very, very light compared to Shape Tape or any of the other concealers. They're so thick that you see so much concealer under the eye. Um, and I'm noticing big N names are starting to copy this little sponge on the tip style. <clears throat> I know Charlotte Tilbury has one now. I've noticed that Rimmel came out with another breathable lasting finish one, which I haven't tried. I think I tried it once, but anyway. Um, and I do like that it has the little sponge because that's the only thing against it. What I like about this one is that it has this, it just makes it so easy to apply. And I come down, literally down by the nose, hitting the nose right there and down into this big wrinkle right down the nose. And that big wrinkle and I do there and there because all it does is lighten up anything you touch and that's what you want you want this area of your face to be lightened up but you don't want it to be thick and that's what people get wrong because they think they're trying to cover up things and yes you are trying to cover up bags and and dark circles but the thing is you'll only get it lightened you can't truly cover it I don't believe and so when you do something so thick it's so obvious um, that, I mean, it can lighten it a little bit, and that helps to me. Now, as far as concealer used for acne, you need a full coverage concealer, and that's different. Um, even though I don't know that I'd use something super heavy, but one of the one, one of the lines I'd look to on something like that is Clinique. I trust them on something that, um, acne is a tough thing. You got to be careful with it because you don't want to get your face infected. Usually acne is, you know, young people, but it's not always just young people.